So very recently, a number of businesses have hit the headlines because trust accounts have been hacked and tens of thousands of dollars have gone missing. Uh, this is now quite prevalent throughout the media. What we know is that hackers from overseas are becoming extremely sophisticated. In fact, anybody can now just go onto Google and work out how to become a hacker. So with the threat now where these people are actually emailing in things like key locking software or actually taking control of the internal of a network without the end user knowing, what are you exposing? And if you've got two-factor authentication with the bank, you know, they're messaging you a text message or using a little dongle to actually give you a key, is that security enough? Well, it's not because the businesses that were hacked, both their banks and themselves, were duped despite these protections. So we've developed a new technology called Bank Vault. It's a physical device. You use this on your desk, it's completely isolated from your normal network. There is no logical connections whatsoever. It sets up a remote connection with a data center, which orchestrates the setup of a remote virtual machine at random every time you log in. It's brand new, there is no history in it, so we know it's completely clean. The encrypted connection allows you to then do your banking securely, or changing your passwords on another website, or even viewing an email that might include a virus and getting rid of it. And when you've gone, when you've shut down, that virtual machine completely evaporates and is destroyed. It no longer exists and there is no traces from it. So you're completely immune and it's a moving target because next time you log in, we'll set up a data center in another remote location somewhere else. So only this device and the orchestrator actually know the location of the system. It's completely immune to all of the techniques that are being used by hackers, traditionally through email, through installing key logging software, etc., man in the middle attacks, DNS poisoning. This is your solution to secure online banking.